Hey you guys, Yulia here. So in today's video I will be digging up my tulips and uh, getting them ready for summer storage. And the reason why I'm digging these up is because I have dahlia tubers going in here for the summer. Another reason you may dig up your tulips and store them for the summer, if your summers are wet and cold, um, tulips really do not like that. They come from Central Asia where summers are more hot and dry and not let the bulbs dry out. If your summers are wet and cold, the bulbs may rot. So I dig up my tulips when the foliage is still green, but it's kind of becoming a little limp and annoying looking. Some people wait until the foliage is completely dry. I actually found no difference in flower quality the following year between letting it completely dry or digging them up in this stage. And digging the bulbs is a fairly simple process. I just dig around the bulb a little bit. I take my shovel. There you go. Now avoid pulling on the stem, trying to get the bulb out. It will most likely not happen. I'll give you an example. See, if you pull on it, the stem will come out, but not the bulb. All right, so the tulips are all dug and it was kind of tricky because I interplanted them uh, with stock because I thought that they would bloom together, but the stock was three weeks late, um, but it's okay. All right, so these are all the tulips that I dug up and I laid them out to kind of show you what could happen um, as you are digging them up. For example, like this one here, I sliced. So this is obviously not good for storage. It's not gonna make it. Another one is this one. Um, the leaf have snapped and this is no good either. You do want the leaves attached when you're starting to store them because the leaf energy will go back into the bulb. Another thing to look out for is the size of the bulb. I kind of can't tell right away whether the bulb will bloom next year. Like this is a really good size and good quality bulb. It will definitely bloom. There are some tulips that kind of fall apart into smaller bulblets. So these are babies. These will not bloom next year. I don't store these at all. You can store them and plant them again. They will bloom in about two to three years. And the next step is to clean off the soil of the bulbs. And the best way to store the tulips in this phase is cardboard boxes. Do not store them in plastic containers because there's not enough air circulation. And air circulation is the name of the game here. It is very important as these uh, tulips dry out over the summer. And the next thing I do is find a dry location for these tulips. It doesn't have to be cool, it just has to be dry uh, with really good air circulation. In my case, it's my basement. I actually have a dehumidifier going there, so that's perfect. If you're storing multiple varieties, don't forget the label. And I let these tulips dry for a couple of months and sometime at the end of the summer, uh, probably on a really hot day in the middle of August, when I can't really do anything outside in the garden, I go downstairs in the basement and I clean these tulips. Um, so I separate all of the dried foliage and dried roots from the bulbs and I actually sort uh, the bulbs by size. And the way I sort these bulbs is by using a little 
paper ring that I make myself with a 10 centimeters in circumference. And 10 centimeters in circumference bulb pretty much guarantees that your bulb will bloom uh, the following spring. 12 centimeters is even better, but uh, 10 centimeters is the minimum. Anything smaller than 10 centimeters will not bloom the following year. Um, you will actually have to wait for two to three years for those bulbs to develop and mature so they can uh, finally bloom. So those little bulbs I actually do not keep. I just discard them because I don't want to wait that long. But everything else I will just store until I am ready to plant them in the fall. And when the planting time comes, I plant those bulbs as per usual as I would any other bulb. In fact, these tulips that you see right here, I over summered last year and I planted them last fall and they bloomed so beautifully this spring. I would say they were even better quality this spring than the previous spring. Now keep in mind that uh, digging up and storing tulips is kind of labor intensive. It's not for everyone. So if you have thousands of tulips, I definitely do not recommend it. But let's say you have 50 or 100 or maybe a specific variety that you really like, you want to over summer, um, you can definitely give it a try. And another thing to keep in mind is that if you grow your tulips for cutting, and let's say you cut your stem as long as you want it to, so it's almost all the way to the ground, um, that's way too much foliage to cut off the bulb and that bulb will not store well and will not bloom for you the following year. All right, you guys, this is it for today. I hope these instructions made sense and you give this method a try. And thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you learned something new and I will see you in the next one. Bye.